That's just the next door. Next door, yeah. There's, there's nothing behind there. It's the next door's building. Ah, uh, it's got to be something. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I really Yeah, just for the same. I really appreciate it. Like I said, when, when we first came in here, <laughs> when we first came down here, there was, okay, we, we dug down so you get the head clear and some other And um, there was, we didn't see any sort of lots of passes or anything like that. So, but I've heard people before, like, there was the church yeah. and all that. So. And I've also heard that one from two tubs to the church. Yeah, we've just seen the bricks up. Thing with the uh, with the bars coming down from it. Right. Went over to the church, but uh, the guy in the church he saw. It, but if he knew, he didn't want us to know. Yeah. Uh, he said you can't get down, but you definitely can. That would build over two hundred years ago. Yeah. The two tops is the oldest. Seventeen hundred. Yeah, it's one of the oldest buildings on earth. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next visit is the town hall. Right. See what happens there. Yeah. yeah. I really appreciate that. It's a shame we're finally living in the very town hall. Bit more public to get more. Yeah, 
tunnel is still there. And we're still stationary as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a uh, one called May, 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 May. Yeah. I don't know if that's the underground one or the abandoned one. The underground one. It's all interlinked. Once you lift that grid up, it's all And you've been down there and seen it? Yeah, if you go on YouTube, you see it. Okay. I can take it there now, wouldn't you? Don't be Pretty cool. What the fuck is it? Yeah, yeah. Don't wait. It's really interesting. Yeah, like, the markets from the 70s and 80s. I've been down there. You can see all that little stalls. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, you've got the air raid shelters, which once were markets. Um, and then there's an old underground market as well, which uh, the, the, uh, the train station faces like a little barber shop on its own. Um, just behind there, it's a I've heard of the struggles of I've seen one or two pictures. I think I must have even used it something a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. The guy called Keith Warrender, uh, I've read both of his books, and he's done a few documentaries. He's like the well known underground guy. And I've pretty much read all of his work. Yeah. Just like familiar with it. I don't know where he's like, and I've been, but he, he did this 10 20 years ago. So it's nice of me to do it again, and everyone's messing with me, and I'm fine. I've seen this video. It brings back memories for people as well. Yeah, it's all on Facebook and YouTube. It's all on YouTube though. It's a lot of people. It is, yeah, a lot of people have messaged me. Like, the one we just did, um, someone went down um, 50 years ago and he messaged me saying, you know, thank you so much. Like, me and my mate went down like, 50 years ago. I'm getting back in touch with him again. You brought back so many memories and all that. It's just it's nice not smart because it is. Oh, good luck, all the best. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Cheers, yeah. Cheers, Pat. Thank you very much. Right, uh, turn off. Turn off. Wow. Saturday Pete, so we just got another permission visit from Clarence Pub in Bury. Fortunately, there was no underground tunnels there, but once again, the guy was absolutely fantastic. He showed us everywhere around. It's all been refurbished recently, so you can see that. It's all looks brand new, so it's difficult to see if there's any hidden underground tunnels there. But we've learnt a lot from the guy behind the bar. The stories, will, you can obviously see it on the film, but guys, it was brilliant. We're going to make our way now to Berry Town Hall, and we're going to try and find the secret underground tunnels that all the place around Berry. So guys, we're going to check out in a second. Hopefully, we'll be underground. Peace. <laughs> 